Unto you first, God, here it 
is having raised up his son Jesus, that's the seed, sent him to bless you. There's the blessing, but what is it? And turning away every man from his iniquity. Do y'all see what the blessing is? The blessing is being turned away from sin. The blessing is when God does not hold your sin to your account. How do I get it? Right now, you said that's all. Everybody should be happy with this. Now, how do you get this stuff? Because that's the plan of salvation in promise. What's the, what's the plan of salvation? To give us justification through Christ Jesus, by faith in Christ Jesus, separate and apart from law. But, that is, but now, let's see how that plays out. Right, look at verse 26, Galatians 3, 26 and 27. Let's watch it play out. I'm almost an invitation. This is normally where folk get unhappy with me. Right now, everybody happy. And then when we start talking about how you get it. For ye are all the children of God by means of faith in Christ Jesus. Now let me show you what that means. Contextually, it means by faith, separate from law, but not separate from obedience. I said separate from law, but it don't mean separate from obedience. I, and the reason I know that is because, see, salvation is by faith. It's not at faith. And some people think at faith and by faith mean the same thing. No, it does not. At faith would suggest that at the point I believe, it's at that point that I'm saying. Now, so, by faith suggests faith is the vehicle through which I believe, but not necessarily the point of arrival. At faith says, I'm saying the moment I believe. By faith says, I'm saved through the process of faith, but not necessarily the point of life. Are yeah. y'all following this? All right. Well, well, the reason is like saying, I came to church tonight by car. Well, I wasn't, I didn't arrive in church when I was at the car. I came by car, which means I used the car as the vehicle. To get to my destination. But in order to get to church by car, action was necessary. My faith had to start the car, put my foot to the pedal of the car, steer the car, and then I would get to church by car, but it wasn't by car alone. I don't know what it is. Salvation is by faith, not is by the process of faith or by means, agency, or instrumentality of faith. Yeah. Well, how does it play out? That's verse 26. Some people say, well, I like verse 26 because it says by faith. Well, that's not going to help you. It says by faith, not act. But I, I, don't, I don't think you got to do nothing else. Well, that verse don't say that. It says by faith, by instrumentality of faith. It's not talking about the point when you're saved. It's the means by which you're yeah. saved. All right. Now the question is, how does that process of being saved by faith play out? Verse 26 says what? For you are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. 27, for as many of you as have been baptized into Christ have put on shows you what's involved with the process of faith. Right. Let me say this. All right, Some people read by faith scriptures and try to make them fight baptism scriptures. Yeah. Right. In the first century, that fight didn't exist. Yeah. Right. In the first century, they understood when you mentioned faith, it included obedience. Yeah. Right. So when you see by faith, it never means mental assent. Well, I don't have time. Now, now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, evidence of things not 
I see, the yeah. guy is the elders who came to good report, through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so the things which are seen yeah. were not made of things which do appear. By faith, a more offering, a more excellent sacrifice that came, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous. God testifying of his gifts, by it he be dead and speak. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death, that before his translation he had this testimony that he pleased God. Yeah. By faith, or well, without faith, it is impossible to please him, for he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is the reward of them that diligently seek. Watch it. By faith, Noah, being warned of God of things not seen as yet, moved. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
so of you here tonight that you want to be saved. You've heard the gospel that Jesus Christ died and was buried and rose again, and that salvation is in him. And then, of course, believe that to be true. Repent of your sins. Acknowledge Christ with your mouth. I believe he's the son of God. And then get baptized for the remission of sins. And God will put you in Christ, in the body of Christ, in the church that Jesus built. Now, let me just say this one last thing. There is no such thing as finding the church of your choice. The same thing that saves you makes you a member. It's not two different processes. It's not, I'm going to get saved and let me go pick one of these out. No. When you get saved, then you become the church. And you become the one that's in the Bible. You don't get saved and say, any, 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 let me see which one I like. All right. No, 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 no. The process that saves you makes you a member of the church Jesus built. That's it. Are y'all following That's what I'm saying? It. And that church was not a denomination. And I'm going to give you a history of where all these other churches came yeah. from. Yeah. Man, they, they're not all from God. And, and I'm not, let me just be clear. I'm not saying that they don't love God. You hear, I, I say, I'm not here to beat up nobody. I'm not here to beat up nobody. I'm here to tell you there's a church in your Bible yeah. that God will make you a member of yeah. when you obey the pure gospel of Jesus Christ. Now, I'm finished. Is there anyone that has a question? I'm done preaching. I'm not going to yell at you. I'm going to talk normal now. I, mean, I only preach like that. Uh, but now I'm simple and calm. And I'm taking my medicine. Is there a visitor here that's saying, I, I thank you for the sermon, but I would love to just, if you could clear this up for me, I, I would, I would, it would help me be baptized for the nation of sins. Is there anybody that uh, just saying, and I, I promise I'm not going to holler at you. Your question may be another question someone has had. So if you're visiting, you know, I don't want you to be nervous to say, you know, I heard you say about baptism and all this stuff. Can you explain that a little further? didn't quite understand. Anybody have a question? Okay. Anybody? If you're visiting with us, you're not a member of the Hilltop Church of Christ, you say, no, I have a question. Now, if you're a member of the church, then you will ask Sam Pounds all of your questions. Right. All of your questions will be directed to the minister of this church. You know, man, when I, we did a meeting one time before, when you open the floor for questions, members start getting strange. They, they want to bring up something they don't like at the congregation. You want to explain to me, uh, no, that's just, no, no, don't ask me. Uh, uh, Brother Samuel Pounds, or the eldership of this church, will be happy to answer all of those questions. Uh, let's all stand.